G'day, welcome to the Tech Math Channel, I'm Josh. Today we're going to look at how to work out the surface area of a cylinder. And we're going to do this by having a look at this particular example here. We have a cylinder with a radius of 3 metres and a height of 10 metres. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to put the formula together to solve this. The surface area of a cylinder is equal to, well first off we have these circles at the top and the bottom there. So the area of a circle, well that's equal to pi r squared. And we have two of these circles, so we're going to multiply that by two. To this we're going to add, well, the area of this shape that goes around here. So if you were to open up this cylinder here, you would see that this shape that goes around our cylinder is a really big rectangle, which has a length and a width. Uh, the width of it is equal to the distance all the way around our circle here. So the distance around a circle, well, that's the circumference, which is equal to two pi r. And this is being multiplied by our height. So that's the formula we're going to use to solve the surface area of our cylinder, 2 pi r squared plus 2 pi r times the height. So let's substitute in some values now. Uh, all right, so first off we have 2 pi. Let's just leave pi how it is for the minute. And this is being multiplied by the radius squared. Uh, the radius is equal to 3. So this is 3 squared. We're going to add 2 pi times the radius, which is 3, times the height, which is 10. All right. Let's just go through and solve this now. Uh, 2 times pi, that can stay the same. We have 3 squared, which is equal to 9. And this is being added to, well, 2 pi, and we have 3 times 10, which is equal to 30. All right, uh, 2 times 9, this is equal to 18, 18 pi. And to this, we have 2 times 30, which is equal to 60. 60, we have 60 pi. So 18 pi plus 60 pi, this is equal to 78 pi. And that is in meters squared. There's our answer. Now this is equal to an approximation. If we use pi 3.1415, da, 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 da. We multiply that by 78. We could say this is equal to approximately 245.04 meters squared. And that's how you go through and you can easily work out the surface area of a cylinder. What did you think? If you like this video, please remember, hit the like button and subscribe. And if you wish to become a supporter of the Tech Math channel, there is a link in the description on how to become a patron. Big shout out to my patrons. It does help keep the lights on. Anyway, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.